Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and take care of some of the concerns that are coming up from these scripts so far and see if we can cover some of the issues that are coming up like um, teleporting not working, slow enemy movement concerns me, the enemy leaning now the, the leaning I think it's something to do with the way the lookout works um, I've got to confirm if you prefer standing upright or looking towards the player because I can quite easily show both ways of that happening um, there was an error which I did even see once myself this look rotation viewing vector is zero so just on initialization just give it a value other than zero put that into the script but yeah I'm gonna try and see what I can do to cover these issues that are coming up so slender level one this is the current level that everything has been testing on the audio clips and everything set up in here yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through let's look on the character controller <laughs> is I'm going to make sure all these values are the same as what the values are in the script especially the enemy as far as the movement speed the ray distance for detection uh, the, the ranges I'm just going to make sure all these numbers are exactly the same as in the scripts so I'm going to edit the scripts and update the scripts and then I'm going to build everything from scratch so I'm just going to create a new scene and drag everything in like these papers and terrain I'll make a prefab for them so I don't have to set them up again but I'll drag them in the character controller add the player scripts and rename stuff and then we'll create an enemy character put the script on which will make sure it has a rigid body Set the capsule collider, we'll bring in a, a model, and we'll try and set everything up and hit play and see if these scripts can work. Okay, so I said I'd start off, let's get rid of the player, let's get rid of the enemy. I do want to start off with a scene that does have the terrain and papers because they're just, well, there's no scripts. Okay, let's try and talk it. Move that component. And is that there's no, no scripts on the papers at all, so there's no scripts in this scene at all. So I'll save scene as. Um, slender underscore assembly. Okay, definitely in slender assembly, okay. Papers are untagged, they're all named paper. Terrain is named terrain and also untagged. Terrain, paper, just as you see. Okay, so let's start with the player object. We get a standard assets first person controller. As you see, the controller has brought in a camera. Now, first things first, make sure that your controller is not colliding or penetrating with any other objects. Okay. Above the terrain collider. In the terrain, make sure you have a terrain collider and it is not set to trigger. Okay. Make sure your object is above that terrain. Now you can probably hit play, character falls, and we have normal movement, jumping, So for the torch for now, first of all, the first person controller, I'm going to rename that to the player. Okay, so player is named to player. It's just the first person controller. Um, yes. Play. Okay. So I did 
front channel steps and save those steps in the script. Declare the main camera. Create a spotlight. Spotlight images is my main goal. This is where I work to take the numbers down and keep my eyes. Looks looking good. Range. Okay, so let's set up this player. Then 
Up. Let's just assume it doesn't. There it has an enemy script. Okay, player, what else do I need to add now? Let's see to help. Uh, help. Okay, what does player help me? The static render. Ah, static object. We have to create a static object. Static script. Okay. Have a state? No, that's why then player health does it. You just need the object set up. Okay, the static create. Um keep on plane, I use plane on something. Plane. Which one is the player face? Let's leave that there. I think we had a material, static material when we set up. Okay, we have to set that down, is it? Okay. So now we have static objects. Okay, so the player wanted that. The player Okay, so check, check, check. The ring specter parts there full. We've added just a plain light and mesh with the static object. Enemy, okay, player, player, help. Goes on now. Oh. It's accounted for. Alright. So, let's hit play. Out of range. Ah, uh, music. That's got it. Music. I bet you're 10 to 1 now. Music. There you go. The music tracks. Play uh, Now, for memory, I can set this size to 4. have nothing in there. I'll still work up with the heart. They've seen. Okay. Alright, something doesn't happen. That's bad. Alright, excellent. So we are looking around. We're walking. Collecting papers. With the noise. I have no idea where that book is. Alright, so far it should be a white cylinder heading towards. Aha! Aha! What are names? Aha! So, look. 
What's this? Okay, yeah, the plane is gone. I don't know what the story is with this. Okay. Now we're dancing. So I've replicated some kind of strange bug there. Whoa. I ran into it and see what happened. Go mad by then. Um, seems to be chasing and looking at me standing straight upright. What's that there? Okay, no, he is got the look at angle. And I've already put the ray cast in, so it's here in the center of the capsule collider, which is below the camera. So up close it could look like he's leaning. Now the, the other thing is that's just the capsule from the center. It's not in the way I normally do it where I set the capsule. So that's it at his feet. But that's his feet sending still. Can't see much of an angle difference there. Okay, what about running around, running around space? No, I've got to shift to run, run. Okay, so he's getting bogged up there. Well, he's at his distance. Where are those papers? There's nothing to go on. Where are the people? I'm headed the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so turn around. No, this way. Let's walk closer. As soon as I start walking out of range, he's going to start following me. Out of range. There he goes. Now he should get closer. Yeah, closer. Closer. Ah, oh, close papers is not great, is it? I'm hitting A. Ah, oh, something weird. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so. There it is there, I just grabbed all the scripts that I currently have, put in all the inspector stuff, and bang bang, there it was. So what I'll do right now is, is all those scripts, there was nothing special, the static object is the shader, okay, so that's got its own video, which is totally easy, um, it's the enemy, okay, the enemy was the NPC movement script. All the values except for 35. I didn't change anything. And on the player, I didn't change anything there. Audio, you've got to put in the music if you've written that in. And make sure you create the static object. So those three scripts. That's what I'll do. I'll um I'll zip them up right now, and they'll be an archive to what they currently are.